Howdy, so my name is Max Wiener. I'm the pitching coach here at Texas a and As far as my day-to-day -day roles go, it's everything as far as taking care of the pitchers. So whether that's having morning talks and taking their temperature for where they are emotionally, where they are physically, and bring that to life in practice, that's what I'm doing. What that actually looks like on any given day is very different. It could be going over a player's player plan, where we're talking about pitch shapes, maybe their body movement, maybe their training and drill prescriptions, maybe a lot of the mental skills and visualization and imagery. Maybe it's just time management. Hey, what's cooking, big boy? What'd you have today with school? On days like this, taking the overload balls and just working more with the seven ounce, that'll help you sort of feel that laid back too. The cool part about coaching and coaching young people in particular is that if you had a really rigid system for how to do it, you're not taking care of each individual kid. And me being here, not being in professional baseball, this is a huge call, is to actually have the time to really dig in and invest in each kid individually and meet them where they're at. Yeah, and a boy. That's beautiful, man, that's beautiful. It's just always taking audit of what our guys need and being there to listen, being there to support and drive that conversation as well. I wouldn't say that I have a, a super rigid philosophy either, but we do believe in a curriculum and an identity of dominating the strike zone. So we're here to win the OO and the 1-1 counts in particular to maximize our strikeout to walk ratio. How we do that is a, through a very individualized process where each guy is going to have a very clear understanding of what is my best pitch shape what is my best location for that specific shape? And how does that play in the SEC and also long-term throughout professional baseball? So the more clarity that we can provide our players, the more that we can bring that to life throughout practice and in our daily debriefs. So anytime that someone's touching the mound, we're going to talk about that and take audit, not just of how they're moving, but what their pitches are doing movement-wise, velocity-wise, spin-wise, where those pitches are going to in and out of the zone based on the count. And then what is the best version of us? So we're gonna say, where are we and where do we wanna go? And we're frequently trying to close the gap. I'm proud of you because you managed the between pitches beautifully. That was incredible. And that's ultimately what it comes down to, keeping the defense in, going one pitch at a time. I love that you were actually visualizing and going. I could see that you were committed. That sort of commitment to where the second inning, you get the pitch call and it's like a hell yeah, like a resounding yes. That's just affirming to yourself, yes, that's my pitch. I love that. That was my favorite thing is the change in the rhythm and the conviction from inning one to inning two. So, proud of you for that. Way to battle. Always. As far as philosophy goes, we have this overall curriculum that says this is how we dominate the zone by winning the most important counts, but each person will do so through a very different process. And I think ultimately Aggie pitchers, what you're looking for is really aligned output right guys who are relentless and attacking the heart of the zone and not afraid of contact how we get there is going to be very different from a lot of very different arm slots a lot of very different personalities and quirks and that's something that we're going to celebrate if a player came here what they could expect is to bring to life and the virtues of texas a and m and that really goes into relish so respect excellence loyalty leadership integrity and selfless service. So I think when we bring that to life overall, everyone has their catchphrases, what goes on a t-shirt, what goes on a wall. But I think what we're really interested in is creating opportunities for players to explore that in themselves and do it in a meaningful way. And that's a huge component of why I want to be here is because Jim knows exactly what it takes to get to Omaha, including being here in his first year in Aggieland. So when we know that there's clear discipline, that there's clear vision, that's the ultimate foundation. If a kid was going to be here, he would get done with his throwing program every day and feel mentally drained because it takes a massive amount of focus to focus on a shape to a location and not being focused on our internal movements. The sweeper <laughs> sweeping, dude. Sweeper sweeping. That was beautiful. Yes, sir. That's the kind of mentality that's gonna, just gonna open it up, right? So it's not- We do have what is the gold standard for technology. We have the track man. All of our pitchers go through a full biomechanics assessments. On top of that, we also have incredible force plates to force profile our players and know what their training programs need to look like to line up in the weight room, in the training room, and on the field for the throwing program. All those tools are really cool, but the reality is, is like, none of that actually matters unless we are willing to recommit each day to bring that to life. If we have great biomechanics systems or we have great track man, but that takes our pitcher's distraction away from dominating the zone, 
and we're not redirecting our focus back to competing, we're missing the boat. And that's a critical component is we have the great tech, we have incredible resources here, right? If you come to Aggie Land, you know that you're getting the best of the best as far as resources go. Our hope is not to show off the glitz and glam, it's to use those meaningfully to affect how we think about the game, to use that information to instill massive confidence in our players to know that it doesn't necessarily matter, are we moving perfectly or is the pitch perfect, but what is the grittiness level that we have? What is the true compete factor in us to go and attack the zone to win the 0 and the 1-1 counts, knowing that that gives us the best chance to maximize our strikeout to walk ratio and in turn, giving our team the best chance to win.